What is going on everyone? Thank you guys for tuning to the channel. My name is Robert Ritchie and today I'm gonna go over how to take care of and how to breed your own doobie roaches. So doobie roaches are great for beer dragons, geckos, chameleons, pretty much anything that is big enough to eat them. They also have the small ones that are about like that big, so pretty much anything can really eat them. Um, they're super easy to breed and they can save you a lot of money. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to breed them in this video. Alright guys, so breeding doobie roaches, it's very important to identify which ones are males and females. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Males are going to be like those guys right there. Pretty much the ones that look like they have wings and can fly. Don't worry, they cannot fly at all. But these are the males. Females are pretty much the ones that just look bigger, don't have any wings. And uh, yep, that's pretty much the difference and that's how you're able to tell which one is which. So the next topic I'm going to start out with is how many you should get. Um, to start with and uh, what I did is I bought pr probably about 300 of them somewhere around there it was a while ago so I don't quite remember but it was around 300 you always want to buy a couple hundred um, you want to do different sizes so you want to do smalls medium larges um, full-grown adults um, and you just want to because if you start with just um, one male and one female that's gonna take a long time I'm talking a couple years to get your colony pretty huge um, if you start with a couple hundred it's gonna boost it up um, you, know, you might have to wait around six months maybe for it to get a pretty big colony but yeah you always want to start with a couple hundred and you always want to do different sizes all right guys so to actually set up your cage what you're going to do is you're going to get eight cartons like this now you can use a bin like this you can use a bigger one so i'm just doing this for an example i'm actually setting one up but let's say you had a cage bigger than this you're going to set up the eight carton just like how i'm doing pretty much just like that stack it up Boom, boom. Now that gives their, your roaches some space so they can go and hide in there because they like tight spaces. You're gonna leave a section empty. That's where you're gonna put the food for them to eat. You're also gonna put the heat pad on this side. So you go to your local reptile store online, wherever you wanna go, buy a heat pad because they do need it pretty warm. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the setup. So you're just gonna dump all the roaches in, have the heat pad here. And this is where you're going to put all the good food for them. Alright guys, so what to feed them? You can usually, uh, we primarily feed ours romaine lettuce, but we'll also throw in some carrots. You can do the babies, the big ones, whatever ones you want to do, they'll get through it. Um, you can just do, you want to do stuff with very high nutrients in uh, greens, and that's pretty much it. They're very simple to feeding. You can also, also do like roach chow and stuff, I don't do that, but you can, that's fine. And uh, you don't have to give them water or anything because they'll get their water from all the vegetables you feed them, which is a, a good plus. Um, all right, guys, now we're talking about cleaning of the cage. What I like to do is I like to make maintenance. I don't like to clean out everything that's in the cage because the uh, doobie roaches lay their eggs in their feces. So I do not like to take out the, all the feces and dump it, even though it might sound gross, leave that the feces in there because if you take it out, there goes all those eggs that they just laid and you're just, you know what I mean? You can't regrow your colony, it's gonna take longer. So pretty much you just wanna make maintenance. So if it looks a little bit too dirty in one area, clean that, but don't clean everything. Um, some people have preferences, some people like to do it, but that's just my, that's my experience. Um, if you wanna go ahead and clean it, go for it. There's nothing wrong with doing it. It might just be a little setback. All right guys, so the last thing I'm gonna tell you guys what to do is make sure they have a very good ventilation they need to be able to breathe nice airflow needs to come through so pull a dozen holes like if you want to see mine i have this is the one that i use i have a shit ton of holes through it um so just make sure that you have a good ventilation for your doobie roaches they do like it very humid in there so um that's what that heat pad and the vegetables will do but i actually make it pretty humid at least it doesn't mind um but yeah that's pretty much what you want to do you want to make sure they have good all right guys so that is my video on how to breed doobie roaches if you guys do have any more questions feel free to comment in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible but until then thank you guys for watching take care